Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Majesty expressed good wishes to the Saudi King on the occasion of Eid Al Adha, wishing him and the Saudi Arabia as well as the Arab and Islamic nations further progress and prosperity and many happy returns. His Majesty also congratulated the Saudi King for leaving the hospital and wished him lasting good health and happiness. The Saudi King expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his noble feelings and sincere wishes, which reflect the historic and brotherly feelings. He wished His Majesty the King lasting good health and happiness and for Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged telephone calls and good wishes with their Majesties, Highnesses and leaders of the Gulf, Arab and Islamic nations on the advent of Eid al-Adha. His Majesty held a phone call with the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas and exchanged greetings on Eid al-Adha occasion, wishing the two brotherly people and countries and the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns and further progress and prosperity. Both leaders reviewed the strong historic and fraternal relations binding the two countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa held a telephone call with Kuwait's Deputy Emir and Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, and expressed good wishes on the advent of Eid Al Adha, wishing him and the people of Kuwait for, and the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. His Royal Highness was reassured about the health of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, wishing him lasting good health and happiness and to continue leading Kuwait towards further progress and prosperity. The Deputy Emir and Crown Prince expressed deepest thanks to His Royal Highness the Premier for his noble feelings, which reflect the deep rooted relations, wishing His Royal Highness lasting good health and happiness. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fozi Zainal, praised the great achievements of Bahrain as part of the country's comprehensive development plan. Zainal expressed thanks and appreciation for His Majesty's aid greetings to the citizens and for the keen interest in improving services to all citizens. She also expressed appreciation for Team Bahrain under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, which represents a source of pride and national responsibility that further encouraged those who work to fight the pandemic on the front lines. The Kingdom of Bahrain celebrates along with the Arab and Islamic nations Eid al-Adha and worshippers performed Eid prayers at home following the preventive measures issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illa Allah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi Alhamd. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,251 with 437 recoveries, 444 registered new cases and one death. The deceased was a 55-year-old male expatriate from COVID-19 and the Ministry expressed sincere condolences to the family of the deceased. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and follow instructions and avoid public places when possible.